Hello and thanks for watching Gary Teaches Maths. I'm continuing to go through the NXL Higher Tier paper from June 2018. This is paper three and I'm on question 21. So we're told that we've got uh, a parallelogram A, B, C, D. So I'm just going to mark the corners on here. In fact, I'll just join those up. Here we go. A, B, C, D. So here is our parallelogram. And what we know about a parallelogram is that these two sides are going to be parallel, as are the two on the top. And we're also told ABP, so the line horizontally on the top from A to P, is a straight line, and that Q, uh, QBC, sorry, QDC is also a straight line, the horizontal line at the bottom. We're told that angle ADP and QBC are both 90. So that's this one and this one. But what we're told that we've got to do is prove that triangle ADP and QBC are congruent. So let me just try and draw these at the side because it's quite confusing to see in all that where the shapes are that we're talking about. So this is the first one, which is ADP, so A, D, P, and the second one, which is the uh, QBC, I'm going to draw here, there we go, so QBC, and then I'm going to write on the information that we know about these. So we do know that AD is parallel to BC. So we can see it on the main diagram there. We also have been given uh, ADP, yeah, the angle at D is 90 degrees, and the angle at B is 90 degrees. And to show that they're congruent, the two triangles that are congruent or indeed congruent shapes in general it means that all the angles and all the lengths are exactly the same <clears throat> so more than just being similar which could be a scaled up version uh, in terms of congruent it means all the lengths are exactly the same so that's what we need to prove so the first thing that we can actually say is looking at our going back to our parallelogram a b c d in a parallelogram, opposite sides have the same length. So we've got AD on this triangle here and BC, and they must be of the same length because they're opposite sides of the parallelogram. So I'm just going to write this here so we can say AD equals BC. And the reason is opposite sides of a parallelogram. So there we go, opposite sides of the parallelogram. So I can mark that on here. I'm going to say that's par uh, the same length. A line like that, that means that they're of the same length. So let's have a look at what else we can say. Well, also in a parallelogram, we have a rule that opposite angles are the same. So the angle BAD here, which is this one, must be the same as the angle which is BCD and um, so we can say and in fact we could also denote that as being if we drew it from P so that we've got the same notation as on the triangle we can say that PAD must also be this angle so I'm just going to write this here so we can say BAD so I put a little hat above the A just to show I'm talking about an angle must equal the one opposite it, which is BCD. And the reason is, again, opposite angles in parallelogram are equal. So what that means is we've actually got an angle here 
which is equal to the one here. I might just want to say hence, just to make sure, sure that I'm making the connection. Hence, in our triangle, D, A, P, as I'm just showing it there, is equal to B, C, Q. Okay. Now, we've actually got enough information there to prove that these two are congruent. Because, um, so we can say, hence, they are congruent. And the rule is, if we've got, if we can show that we've got an angle, a side, and another angle in that order, ASA, um, we know we've got congruent triangles. So we've got an angle that's equal, a side that's equal, and another angle that's equal, ASA. Uh, we've proven that they are congruent. I'll just write what that means again. Angle, side, angle. Um, so that's it. We've shown that these two triangles are congruent. So now we've got to look at explaining why AQ is parallel to PC. So let's just have a look at what we are talking about there. We're talking about, I'll just change the colour on the pen just to try and show this a little bit clearer. So, uh, pick green for this one. All right. So we've got, try to show that AQ here is equal to PC. So we've got to try and show that they are parallel. Okay, let's see if we can do that. So now what we've, what we've already shown is that these two triangles are congruent. So we've already shown since uh, ADP and BQC are congruent, then it must be the case that AP and QC are of the same length. So we can say AP and QC are of same length. Now, I'm just going to write over here in, in green so we can see which what we're going to now look at. So there's AP and there is QC. Um, so We've got that we already knew that AP and QC were parallel, but we've also shown now that they are of the same length. So there we go. I'm just going to draw this here actually, just to the side, so we can see what I'm talking about. So there we go. There's our shape that we're interested in. So we've got AP, oops, AP, and then QC on the bottom. Okay, so we know that this and this are parallel and of the same length. So that means this is a, another parallelogram. We've got opposite sides that are of equal length and also parallel. So uh, hence APCQ is a parallelogram and going back to the rules of parallelograms that means opposite sides must also be parallel the other opposite sides are aq and pc so you can say hence AQ and PC are parallel. And the reason is because they're opposite sides of a parallelogram. 
So because they are opposite sides of parallelogram. So I hope that's been helpful to you. And if it has, please like our video and subscribe to our channel, which is Gary Teaches Maths. And for more help, visit our website, which is appearing at the top left there, which is bestmathstutors.co.uk, where we've got lots of more videos on maths and also articles on maths. And if you're looking for tuition, then we can also find you a tutor. So thanks for watching.